Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another Improv College House Team show. Tonight, it's evening where I am your host, Vinny Francois. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So happy to have you here with us. Um, we've got a lovely little story to tell tonight, and totally improvised, unscripted, unrehearsed, unprompted, um, and uh, hopefully uh, to, ready to delight everyone. Uh, I'm Vinny Francois. I'm here from Improv College hosting the show. Uh, and to inspire our story, I'm going to ask right away for a suggestion uh, from you, our lovely viewers. Uh, what we're looking for is a word, a word that you really love, a word you love to say, or a word you might like to write in cursive, or a word that you associate with a great memory. Uh, any fun word that comes to mind, a, a, a word maybe you have a connection with, uh, please put that in the chat. Any word that you enjoy, please share that with us in the chat. I'll be reading them out loud and giving them to the players for inspiration to start us off. And speaking of the players, let's say hello. Let's welcome Aron from the United States. Come on out. Hey, Aron. Let's say hello to Deb from Canada. Hi, folks. Hey. Let's say hi to Marilyn from Canada. Hello. Let's say hi to Melissa from Canada. Hi. And let's say hello to Brett, also from Canada. Hey! Hey! <laughs> uh, wonderful, wonderful. Let's take a look at the chat and see what we have, shall we? Oh, we've got a lot of great words. Oh, so many good ones. Uh, evening wear, your words are, oh, ambidextrous, swag, ooh, conundrum, that's a good word, cantankerous. Uh, pick any word that inspires you, dear uh, friends in evening wear. Uh, ambidextrous, swag, uh, conundrum. We all have a ton of them. There's like turkey, burrito, fried chicken, and horse. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of suggestions. Horse jockey. I mean, these are multiple words. That, and that's also fine. Um, so evening wear, I'm going to leave the floor to you. Enjoy the show. Mary, listen, I'm here to tell you the HOA, the Homeowners Association, we want you to stop being such a cantankerous bitch. <laughs> Gosh, June, where is this coming from? I mean, I just am, am trying my best, you know, and I mean, people do terrible things. So, you know, there has to be consequences, right? I, I, those are not my words. This, this is, um, it was, it was a collective decision. I, I won't, I, I won't tell you any names, but listen, we love that you care so much about how our neighborhood looks and, you know, we, we need people who notice the details like yourself. Just pull it back is what I'm saying. I, I, I'm just so overwhelmed. I, I, I'm, I'm just stunned really. I, I really thought I was moving forward and, and helping people and helping, you know, everyone get along better and gosh I'm just I'm just dumbfounded well but that's the thing I think I noticed that you're very good with the kids in the neighborhood and you make sure that they get home safe when they get off the school buses and I don't know some for some reason when you're in, the, in these meetings you just kind of inhabit a different energy yeah, I, I, I can't deny that. I, I, I would say you're right. I am kind of a different person when I'm with the kids than I'm with the adults and trying to move an idea forward. That's true. Well, how are things with Tom? Well, things with Tom are good. Why are you asking about that? Oh, nothing. No one said anything about Tom. Um, I, I don't know. I just thought maybe something was happening at home and maybe you might be channeling that energy. I don't know. Have you heard something, June? 
No. <laughs> well, this is certainly not what I was expecting of this meeting. I, I, I thought you had some kind of good news to share with me. Oh dear, this is a lot to absorb. Let's get um, coffee another time and we can, we can process it a little bit more, yeah? Okay, well, I've got to do a lot of processing between now and then. That's clear. Yeah, process away. Thanks, June. Mary. Oh. Mary, where are you? I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh. Sorry about <sighs> that. Yeah. Listen. Um, Honey, honey, you can't be running late like this every day. I mean, come on, here I am, oh, spending dinner on the table, and and I'm sitting here all by myself. I got nothing, no plate, nothing in front of me, and I just Mary, Mary, Mary. I'm sorry, Tom. I I really thought it would all work out. I had this. I squeezed in this meeting with June. You know. Yeah. Well, um, no, that didn't work out, did it? No, it didn't, Tom. It absolutely didn't. And let me tell you, not much seems to be working out, but, no. but let me just start getting something ready oh. here. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I mean, are you going to start telling me stories about your day again or something? Is that, is that, is this where this is going again? Uh, no, uh, I'm sure my day is not near as important as yours. Well, no, it's not, but obviously you got something on your mind. So why don't you just put it out there? Well, okay, Tom, I mean, gosh, I don't even know where to start. I mean, people are coming down on me for, you know, how I am in the community and oh. ideas I'm trying to move forward. And, and then they're suggesting that maybe something's up with you. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that with with me what i mean what what are they i what 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 are they saying what kind are they well, are they I, saying what i mean it was just sort of like a rumor almost a rumor that wasn't a rumor if that makes any sense just a hint of something just a hint it was I just a hint concerned. okay did you say you are concerned well it was a hint that I should be concerned. I don't okay. know. Well, I'm sure there's nothing to be concerned about there. I mean, obviously, if there was something to be concerned about, I'd tell you about it. But I would hope so. <sighs> Listen, um, you know, I just feel like something has to change, Tom. Do you feel that? I mean, I think you should get home on time more often. I think that should change. No. <sighs> Gosh, I don't know. I feel like there must be a better way in this world. There must be something more fun, vibrant. I don't know. What do you what are you saying? What like what more do you want from this world? I want things to go well. I want things to work out. I want things to be smooth, you know? Uh, that's what I want. All right. I want people to like me. That's what I want. Well, I th I th tell me about a time people liked you. I mean, was there, was there like, I, I don't know what that feels like. Well, I mean, you know, something that comes to mind is the kids. Um, June mentioned that today, actually, just how much I enjoy being with the kids and um, helping them, you know, when they're getting off the buses and everything. And I tell you, um, that day that I helped little Susie, you know, she, she had her lunch kit and she dropped everything all over the road and I helped yeah. her clean it up. And she was just so thankful and looking up at me and just so precious and smiling after, you know, the tears were still running down her face, but she started smiling. And I just felt so satisfied that I was able to be there for her and help her, you know, that's okay. what I want more of in my life. Yeah, that's real nice. How's the dinner coming there? It's almost ready. All right, kind of hungry. It's a nice story though, but I uh, think that's enough chitter chatter. Hey, eh, Mary, think it's about time to get at her. Sounds good, Tom. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm feeling hungry, that's for sure. Okay, what are we gonna do? 
Mary is like, right? Well, I mean, you know, she, there's these collective decisions that she's a bitch and yet she's totally getting walked all over at home. Like mom raised us to be just, you know, feminist women. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I don't know, I just, I, I can't go there. Like that is taking so much space and we, we need to get her out of there for a little bit just so she can recollect, you know, so she can clear her head. You know what? I've got some air miles saved up. And oh. I know a person who can actually help us use them because normally that's impossible. <laughs> that's true. All I ever got was a blender with mine. <laughs> you got a blender? Are you kidding? How? We'll talk about that later. But maybe, maybe we should just send her away on a trip or maybe just a weekend. I don't know. Would she do a whole trip? Hmm. I think maybe if we set her up with somebody that she hasn't seen in a long time. You want to totally undermine her marriage? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the same person? No, this is undermined. We're going to undermine all the way. So we're sending her to the ranch? Okay. Okay. I mean, Rick, they were, they were something back in the day. And maybe she'll remember, right? Yeah. And I mean, she loves the horses and all the kids that come out and do lessons. I mean, she wanted to be a horse rider as well. So, you know, she can have a bit of time there and chill out. I like that. I'd forgotten about the loving the horses. Rick was so hot, you know, it was just... Well, I'm going to call Rick and you take care of the tickets. Okay. 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 This is good. We are good sisters. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey, little missy. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, speak so up. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> So I was told to come pick up a nice lady from the airport, and there you are. I never believe that you would step into a plane, dear. Oh, I know. It's been a long, long time since I've gone out of the city, that's for sure. But wow, it's so good to see you. Brings back so many memories of being at the ranch. And Well, let me tell you that you haven't changed a bit, Mary. Ooh. I don't know about that, Rick. I, I think you might be uh, pulling my leg there, as it were. <laughs> well, listen, let me show you the place. We got a bit of a drive, but uh, I think you'll have some fond memories. Oh, we yeah. got a bunch of new horses. They've been, uh, they're amazing. Uh, I know there's one that you're going to like in particular. Which and one? Well, she's called Belle. Belle. Let me tell you, she's a nice white one with a long, she's got it all going on. And she's oh, fast. Oh, sounds great. What's that? She's fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> Might yeah. take me a while to get back in the saddle, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Well, the saddle has been filled quite a bit by this young girl, Charlie. Wait till you meet oh. her. Oh, she's something. But I am going to tell you, I'm so happy that you're here. And I really hope that you, you know, forget about city life for the weekend and see what's up at Rick's Ranch. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. I'm really, really looking forward to this. My daughter's put it together for me. And wow, I just can't even believe it. It's a so dream okay. come true, practically. I wish you had brought those two ladies with you. But... You know, <laughs> I'm sure they're just as beautiful as their mother, but huh, at least you're here. 
All right. right. <laughs> Off we go now. Such a charmer. Hop into the truck, Mary. Okay. Oh. Mary. What has gotten into you? You showed up with the a new je ne sais. I don't know. Something about you is very uh, different. You think so, June? Yeah. I mean, did you get laid? Well, June, I can't, can't believe you're asking that. I mean, one day you're calling me a bitch, and, and now you're <laughs> asking about my love life. Gosh. <laughs> Listen, we're grown women here. We can talk about, you know, what we do in the bedrooms. It's okay. And by the way, that was a collective decision. It was not my words. But right. anyway, anyway. You were the messenger. Well, so I'm a messenger once again. And, you know, the, the HOA, they, they loved your ideas with, with, um, with the new gardening and trimming the bushes and um, getting rid of that ugly, ugly uh, paint job that's that's on the left side of the street. They loved your ideas and they, they loved the way you delivered them. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. Uh, I mean, I, I just, I was so concerned that everyone would just hate everything again. Well, I mean, whatever you're doing, it's working. So keep doing that. Thanks, June. I, I actually had a, a lovely trip to uh, Rick's Ranch. I don't know if you know it, but I tell you, all the inspiration for the gardening was from there. Wow. The landscaping, Thanks. you know? Rick's Ranch. That you got to check it out. Well, that sounds familiar. Um, Jennifer, she was going through a rough patch and she went to a place called Rick's Ranch and she came back with a glow just like yourself. Really? Well, I guess that's the way it is at Rick's Ranch. It's just kind of contagious. Oh. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> and so, and, and your daughters, your daughters took care of this, huh? Yes, they, it was their idea. And gosh, I, I just, I could never have afforded it myself, but they just put it all together for me, a special package. So sweet. Wait a minute. Then what happens with Tom? Well, I had to leave him behind and um, let him fend for himself, you know, for once in his life. Congratulations. That is a big deal. Wow. Thank you. You know what? You're such an inspiration. You're charting a new life. You're authoring a whole new future for yourself. Oh, <laughs> I never thought about it quite like that. But, you know, we're looking to elect a new HOA president. You should put your name in. Really, June? Are you serious? I mean, you think you think people are sort of over the bitch thing? They forget. And honestly, no one's no one's qualified. And you, you, you have all the good ideas. It's a no-brainer. Well, uh, let me think about it. But if you're behind me, June, then, then I would feel good about it. I'm behind you, 100%. Mary, I just want to thank you for coming in a bit early into the office today. Um, there's just a few things that I wanted to go over about your job review. Um, you asked for a 15% increase to your salary. I did. We realized that's very unreasonable. Like that is a big, last year we gave you two and a half percent. The year before, I think it was 3%. Brenda, you have to face facts. The cost of living is high. And I am worth it. Yes. Are you though? <laughs> <laughs> well, Brenda, you can you can reevaluate, but I think I've put in my time here, and I've earned more than my meager increases the last couple of years. So this is to make up for it. 
Listen, I don't know where this arrogance is coming from that you're shooting off here, but I really don't appreciate it, especially when you're, you have a review such as this that is asking for a 15%. I mean, to me, it sounds like you think you're better than this place. Brenda, um, frankly, to be honest, I do think I'm better than this place. And you are lucky to have me. And I may be moving on, but in the meantime, I think I should get the increase. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not what I brought you in here for today, Mary. You are moving on because I am moving you on. <laughs> Mary, this isn't working anymore. <laughs> well, I have some other irons in the fire, so good. Um, I think that's fine with me. Is it? Is it really fine with you? After all these years? Well, I, I don't feel particularly respected, I'll say that. I mean, I have given a lot over the years, Brenda, right? And, and now I'm just being pushed out, so. Well, you know, office, office spaces need to change sometimes. They need new faces. And I think that the paperwork's here, it needs some new faces. And I think you need to find a new office with some new faces. This isn't gonna work anymore. Okay, that's fine with me. I will move on and I will find something that is more to my liking and where people appreciate me and what I have to offer. Good luck with that. I mean, office assistants are, well, I mean, you're useful, but. Well, I may decide to go in another direction. Who knows, Brenda? Well, good luck to you, Mary. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'll be packing up my office this afternoon. Please do, and leave my mug here. Of course, I'll leave your mug, Brenda. I'll run Goodbye. it to the dishwasher. Goodbye. Hey, Mary. I am so impressed with you. You have come out here to the Outward Bound group and you have turned around kids I haven't even, I didn't even have a hope for. I mean, we're not supposed to, <laughs> but you know, after six months, you are our top employee. I want you to take on some mentoring. I feel like you could do like, not just the hands-on work, maybe do some, you know, training internationally to similar groups. Wow, Virginia, this is like, um, this is beyond my wildest imagination. Um, you're for real on this. 100%, 100%. Yeah. You are truly amazing. I haven't seen anyone like you. You're so vibrant and you connect with the youth so well. I mean, your repelling skills, no one can do it better than you. You're, you know, you to look at you, you wouldn't think that you would be so good in such a rugged environment. But wow! And guess where the fuzz group is going, Mary? <laughs> Virginia here got me in touch, and she said she's got a bunch of kids that would like to come to the ranch. And mention the ranch to her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope I didn't overstep. It just seems like such a good fit for you. Thanks, Virginia. Oh, this is so wonderful. The kids are going to have a blast. Oh, I'm just enjoying my time here so much and looking forward to the public speaking. It's awesome. You're going to change the world, Mary. Now, I got to get out and start a fire for some kids who we're not in your group and are really struggling and cold. So <laughs> I, uh, I'll catch you later. I, it'll be fine. I'll take care of it. Okay. <laughs> Mary.
Mary, I want to tell you that I'm so glad that you decided to stay with me. Yes. I haven't been an easy man to, a man to tame. And, uh, <laughs> you've been out here multiple times. And, you know, you've tried to make my heart more tender. And uh, because of the kids, well, it was your presence that made my heart more tender, Mary. And I know that you're a city girl, but a city girl comes to the ranch, well, she oh, can be a the country guy. <laughs> oh, Rick, you, do, you have no idea how happy I am to be in the outdoors and to be helping kids and, and have a chance to just be with you and, and share the work together. It's, it's just so marvelous. Well, let me take your hands and let me tell you, dear Mary, what a joy that you bring to my life. And I just want to say, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> I know you're about to finalize those divorce procedures from that horrible Tom. And let me tell you, I can't wait for that day because lady, I will sweep you off your feet all bell and let us go out into the sunset of our ranch, baby. Sounds fantastic, Rick. <laughs> and that's the end of our lovely story. I'm so happy for Mary. She, she didn't deserve all that treatment. It was a, the people were so mean to her. Come on, she's a wonderful doll. Uh, everybody, uh, thanks for being here for this wonderful show. Let's bring our wonderful players back. Come on out here, evening wear. Hey, hey, hey. Bravo, bravo. Great work, great work. Uh, thank you, evening wear, for delighting us with that wonderful story. Thank you, wonderful viewers, for, for sticking with us and watching this show. Uh, it's really appreciate all the support for, for online arts and performing. Uh, in these uh, times where, uh, you know what, we're doing... We're connecting with people around the world, including people like you. So thanks for being here. Uh, if you're an improviser, you can always check out improvcollege.ca for some great classes from teachers from all around the world. Uh, and if you really enjoyed this show, uh, feel free to uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, we've got so many great shows, so many great performers, and including these people who will be back in two more weeks' time for their very next show. So we hope to see you here again. Uh, for now, on behalf of Improv College and the rest of Evening Wear, I'm Vinny Francois wishing you a wonderful night. Take care. I think that's it. All clear. I'm just waiting to make sure that it ends on YouTube's end. All right, that's going to be it. And then, hmm, weird.